Welcome everybody to another edition of Eddie's Toy Box. And today we're going to be taking a look at two pops from the new uh, pop movies line based off of the movie The Boondock Saints. Now this should go without saying, but The Boondock Saints is not for kids. Not for kitties. Um, so kitties, go take a look at many, many, many of my other videos. Um, but The Boondock Saints, not for kitties. Um, because obviously it's an adult themed movie. Um, so these are kind of adult themed pops. The boxes say 17 plus on them. So yeah, little kitties, check out uh, other reviews. Okay, so The Boondock Saints is a movie that came out many, many years ago and is about two uh, fraternal twin brothers, uh, the McManus brothers. And then we've got Connor here and we got, wait a minute. No, no, this is uh, supposed to be Murphy. But, uh, not sure how Daryl Dixon got here. Oh, there's Murphy. Get out of here, Daryl. So, anyway, a little hiccup. Connor and Murphy, the McManus brothers. The, the, um, the Saints. Let's take a look at their boxes. Side of the box, you got, uh, the Boondock Saints in the background here. Uh, over a red background, obviously. Uh, not much has changed as far as the final production went on these. Murphy has, uh, it seems his hair looks a little bit longer in the concept art for his bangs and the back of his hair because you can't see his hair here and it, they flow this way. Um, which maybe it was because uh, this is based off of a Daryl Dixon pop and maybe that was an easier route to go. But other than that, they are essentially the same. Back of the box just gives you the other pops in the line, which we're reviewing both of them today, so it doesn't matter. Connor McManus, number 181, number 182, Murphy McManus, collect all of the Boondock Saints super stylized final figures. And then it's got some of the uh, promotional images from the movie in the back here with the with it red again. And uh, yeah, so those are the boxes. Get back. So, all right. So the Boondock Saints is uh, uh it takes place in boston it um after the mcmanus brothers get into uh a spat with members of the russian mob they spend the night in a, a lockup and uh the lord comes to them and they decide that they're gonna clean up the streets modern day vigilantes but not like batman no 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 because they have guns so let's take a look at connor here as far as paint job wise, Connor's got a pretty decent paint job. Uh, he's got some scuffs here that you can't really make out, but I was able to look at a few of them to to get uh, to pick the one I wanted. Which uh, when you're looking, you can't really look at the back unless you open the boxes. But take a look here. He's he's got scrapes all over the back of his uh, coat here, so it looks pretty it looks pretty bad there. But that's all right. Um, what I like about the little details is this has his Veritas tattoo on his hand and uh that means um truth in latin and uh you'll see when we do murphy murphy has a hand tattoo as well he's got his pistol here there's a little bit of flesh paint on the pistol itself so you know as far as paint flaws go he does have a few of them he's got his rosary beads on if you can uh see right there it's based off of, you know the ones they wear in the movie and i like the little attention to detail how it goes over the collar of the coat so it, it looks like it's, you know, two separate pieces. And I like how they did the Boondock Saints cross here with the uh, silver circle around it. Because uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, when you see, usually when you see uh, memorabilia like this, they'll they'll just skimp on it. And it'll be just a brown solid cross all the way, all the way through. But the fact that they did the little silver circle just shows that, you know, they, they, they care a little bit. I mean, you have to if you want to sell them. He's got on his jeans, you can see a little bit of the brown paint there as well. So he has a, cute, a few paint flaws. As far as his face goes, he, he does, he is a great representation of, you know, Connor or Sean Patrick Flannery. Um, I like how the sculpt of his hair, it kind of goes down here at a part, but then it goes right back up here. See how that does that there? That's a pretty, pretty great attention to detail. You know, he's got the, you know, the wave up front here. And that's Connor. Now let's take a look at Daryl. I mean Murphy. He's got on. He's he's basically the same exact body mold because they wear the same outfit. So this was probably an easy sell for Funko because hey, 
we're gonna get another Norman Reedus pop out of the deal. We'll be able to reuse both bodies, but just to, to make it a little different, we'll have Norman hold uh, the pistol in his other hand, which, you know, is, you take a look at the box here, if you set them up like this, it's kind of, you know, creating the movie poster like this, just like this. Uh, Murphy's got the Equitas tattoo, which means like equality in Latin. So it's pretty awesome that they included the tattoos on both of their hands here. Take a look, see that? Again, he's got the crucifix around him, the rosary with the silver circle, so that's cool. But all the way around, same exact pop, body-wise. No scrapes on his coat. Same jeans, same boots. Head-wise, like I said, he's got the Norman Reedus, you know, face look right to him. So you can tell that's supposed to be Norman. And the hair sculpt is, you know, what we've come to expect with all the Daryl Dixon pops. So... For thee, Lord, for thee, shepherds we shall be. That's the Boondock Saints. Let us know what you think of the Boondock Saints in the comments below. If you like this video, like it, click the like button, subscribe for more. Follow us on Instagram at ESBJO underscore figs, where we're posting daily pop pictures. And we've posted some, including the uh, Boondock Saints already. Look for us on Twitter at Eddie's Toy Box, where we're posting our daily tweets. Follow us on Facebook at Poppin' Off About Funko. Look for my column every Thursday night on popvinyls.com. It's a Thursday night column where I showcase three or four of my favorite photos from Instagram. And I tell you a little bit why I chose those photos. And as always, be kind to one another. Have a great day. And free the saints. And free the pops. And, uh, you know, Norman Reedus, right? He must have... He, he has to be the actor that has the most pops based off of any characters he's played is what I'm going to think. All right, guys, we'll see you.